Welcome to this lesson on rate problems. Please be sure you have these notes in front of you so that we can begin our lesson. The learning objective for today says I can use rate reasoning to solve problems. In prior lessons, we introduced you to the definition of a rate. We know that rates compare two different quantities. So for example, miles per minutes, miles per gallon, miles per hour. Those are all different units and different quantities. So basically rates are ratios that compare two different quantities. And we've talked about ratios in previous lessons. So let's refer to the example at the top of this slide. It says 24 miles for every three minutes. Once again, we know that's a rate because we're comparing two different quantities. Miles is one quantity, and minutes are another quantity. So we can write it like this, 24 miles per every three minutes. So that would be the fraction form. You can also write it as 24 colon 3 or 24 to 3. So those are different ways to write that rate. So this slide shows you three different strategies for solving rate problems. The first strategy we can look at is a double number line. So if I zoom in into the double number line, I know that miles or distance would go on the top, so I'm going to start with zero miles, and time, zero time, or zero minutes, will go on the bottom. I want to figure out what my unit rate is, so if I have 24 miles over three minutes, I can divide the top and bottom by three, because I want to get one on the bottom, and eight on the top. So my unit rate would be 8 miles per 1 minute. So using the double number line, I can go ahead and put the unit rate on the first line. So the unit rate would be 8 miles per 1 minute. Now that I have that unit rate built, I can use the double number line to figure out other rates. So I can scale up multiply it by 3, so I would get 24 miles, do the same thing to the bottom, and get 3 minutes. Or I can scale up again, and multiply it by 4, and get 32 miles. Scale up the bottom, times that by 4, and get 4 minutes. So you can use a double number line to figure out other rates for a given unit rate. We can also use a table to solve these problems. Using that same problem, I'm going to label this first column as miles and the second column as minutes. I know that my unit rate was 8 miles per 1 minute and if I scale up, I can multiply this by 3 and get another rate. So that would be 24 miles per 3 minutes. Finally, let's talk about some proportions. Proportions are two ratios that are equal. So I can say that miles over minutes should equal miles over minutes. So given that same exact problem, I can say that 24 miles per 3 minutes is the same as 8 miles per 1 minute. If I reduce 24 over 3, I still get 8 over 1. So let's use these three strategies to solve the following examples. So for example 1, it says the Millers drove 105 miles on 4 gallons of gas. At this rate, how many miles can they drive on 6 gallons of gas? And we know that this is a rate because not only does the problem tell me it's a rate, they're giving me two different quantities, miles and gallons. So the way that I want to write this is 105 miles per 
four gallons. So let's use the double number line first to solve this problem. I'm going to place 105 miles right above the four gallon mark because that now I want to figure out the unit rate. In order to get the unit rate, I need to make sure the denominator is one. So let's divide the top and bottom by four because then I can get one gallon on the bottom. So after doing the division, I get 26.25 miles per one gallon as the unit rate. So since I have my unit rate, I can go ahead and place the 26.25 miles over the one gallon mark and call that the unit rate. So now that I have the unit rate, I can go ahead and figure out any other rate that I need. So for example, if I take the unit rate and I multiply it by 2, top and bottom, I would get 2 gallons on the bottom and 52.5 miles on the top. So that rate would be 52.5 miles per 2 gallons. I can also double or triple the unit rate, so times the unit rate by 3. So the bottom number would be 3, and the top number would be 78.75 miles per 3 gallons. So now let's go ahead and answer the question of the problem. It says, at that rate, how many miles can their car drive on 6 gallons of gas? Well, if I take my unit rate and multiply it by 6, top and bottom, I'm going to get... 157.5 miles per 6 gallons of gas and that would be the answer to this question. So we can solve the same exact problem by using a table as well and we'll get the same answer. I'm going to label the first column of my table as miles and the second column as gallons. So given the information in the problem, they're giving me 105 miles per 4 gallons. And notice I didn't place the 105 miles per 4 gallons in the first row because I left room to place my unit rate there. And since we already calculated the unit rate, I'm going to place 26.25 miles per 1 gallon on the first row because once again that is my unit rate. So now that I have my unit rate I can go ahead and figure out the answer to this problem. I'm going to place a 6 in 6 gallons because that's what they're asking me in the problem. It says how many miles can they drive on 6 gallons and using the unit rate I can multiply the unit rate by 6 to get 6 gallons. So if I do that to the gallons I need to do that to the miles so let's multiply that by 6 and if I do the math I'll get 157.5 miles per 6 gallons. So to answer this question, I can say that the millers can drive 157.5 miles on 6 gallons of gas. And we found that out by using two different methods, either the double number line or the table. Both would work. So pause the video, complete the problem, and we will discuss the answer in class tomorrow. Notice in this problem, I'm asking you to solve it using a double number line and a table. Both methods should lead you to the same exact answer. So here's example two. It says Jeremy drove his motorcycle 120 miles in three hours. At this rate, how many miles can he drive in five hours? At what rate did he drive his motorcycle? So once again, we know that this is a rate because we're comparing two different quantities we're comparing miles and hours so I'm gonna write this as a hundred and twenty miles per three hours so before we start let's go ahead and solve this using our double number line right above the three mile mark or the three hour mark I'm gonna write a hundred and twenty miles above there so let's go ahead and figure out the unit rate, I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 3 to
to get a one hour on the bottom. So after doing the math, 120 divided by 3 became 40 miles. So my unit rate is 40 miles per one hour. So using that information, I'm going to fill out my double number line. So 40 miles per one hour as the first line on my double number line. So I can continue to fill that out, but I'm going to answer the question. It says, at this rate, how many miles can it drive in five hours? So if I take my unit rate and multiply my unit rate by five, and I do that same thing to the top, I would get 200 miles per five hours. And that would be the answer to this question. So let's go ahead and solve that same exact problem using a table. I'm going to label the first column as miles and the second column as hours. So given the information, I know that I can drive 100 or Jeremy can drive 120 miles in 3 hours. And once again, I didn't place it in the first row because I want to use that for my unit rate. Since I already figured out my unit rate, I'm going to place 40 miles per one hour in the first row. Now the problem is asking me to figure out how many miles he can drive in five hours. So I'm going to place a five in the hour column. So using the unit rate, I can multiply the unit rate times it by five. And 40 times five like we did in the previous method was 200. So to answer the first part of this question, Jeremy can drive his motorcycle 200 miles in 5 hours. To answer the second part of this question that says at what rate did he drive his motorcycle, his rate was 40 miles per hour. So pause the video, complete the got it problem, and we will discuss the answer in class tomorrow. Once again notice I'm giving you a problem and I want you to solve it using two different methods. One method using the double number line, the other method using the table. You should get the same answer using both methods. And one more hint, it's okay to get a fraction within your unit rate. So now that you've just completed the lesson, let us know how you feel and go ahead and self-rate yourself. If there's any part of this video that you do not understand, please go back and watch it again or come to class with some questions and we can discuss it in further detail.